What's up, everybody? Uh, today I want to talk about an interesting topic, guys. Um, why why is it so many startups or young entrepreneurs start multiple businesses at the same time? You know, I, this is something that back in the days, when in my twenties, you know, uh, that was the thing to do. Like everybody was telling you, you have to start multiple business. Uh, but today it's still going on, you know, and uh, it's very unique to the African ecosystem. I don't know about uh, Asia, but Europe and, and, and the States, you don't see that that aspect of it. But what, what's the what's the thinking about it? And why people think that that's the way to go? That's the topic I want to touch base about. You know, I've been having this conversation about with a lot of young entrepreneurs. And I'm curious also to get uh, some of your feedback about this. So check out the vlog. Put some comment below. Peace. Oh, my bad. What up, what up, what up, what up, people? Man, this, um, this idea of multiple businesses is not new, you know, and uh, I remember about 10 years ago, I started a, a ice machine, and you know I, I love when I was the early, early days. I love when people, uh, when 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 you start a business, yeah, well, at least back then, you only see the 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 upline, but not the downline, right? Uh, what I mean by that is you see the potential, you see the potential revenue, um, you see the the. You see the, you know, you see only the, the, the positive part, but not the negative part. So there was this ice machine business that my partner, a good friend of mine, told me, man, this is a sure thing. And uh, when we started, him himself had two, three businesses he was running at the same time. And um, and I used to ask him, why are you doing multiple businesses? Why are we don't just focus on this one and, and make it grow? And his approach was very simple. You know, the problem is, if I put all my egg in one basket, it's a, it's a big risk, number one. Number two, some businesses bring cash flow much quicker than others, so they can feed the cash flow to the other businesses. And that's the mentality we've had in Africa for a long time, where the only way to be successful is to spread our wings and do multiple things. It's like playing the lottery. You're buying a, a multiple card you know, and lorry, and you're hoping one will be a winner. That's exactly what my what, what the mindset is. Now, that's my personal view. Uh, I've yet to meet anybody who been successful doing multiple business at at the same time. Uh, and some other view is start multiple business, and one might take off. I've heard that before, but this is also happening today. You know, I see a lot of young entrepreneur, young startups starting two, three businesses. And I was talking to a friend of mine today, and he, he has multiple businesses also. And uh, it's to, you know, like I said, minimize the risk. But then you also minimize your time. We only have 24 hours, technically 16 if, if you sleep eight hours. Uh, I'm a big sleeper, so, you know, it's, it's definitely like 14 hours. But even though 14 hours, you have to spend time with family and all those things. Let's say you have eight hours of work, right? If you do two, three businesses, man, you got like two, three hours to allocate to all the businesses. Unless you have money, you can hire teams, you can do that, but most of us don't have that. You know, it's maybe you and two people you can afford, top, you know, and then you, you allocate that, the, but you have to allocate time, you have to build a business. I always say business is like a baby. It's like having a child. In the beginning, that child does not walk, you gotta assist, you gotta nourish, you gotta feed the, 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 the baby the kid, and and it requires a lot of your time. If you have a lot of those kids at once, <laughs> it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. You know, and then you, you cannot you cannot give the same attention at all if you got, you know, seven, eight, nine kids, but I'm exaggerating. Maybe let's say four or five kids, then you have a one. You can be very attentive. You can make sure that everything goes well. You can minimize the risk of failure. 
uh, you know, by doing one business at a time. Now, I'm not saying if you have a successful business, then you can you cannot build verticals on top of that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is if you're starting two, three, four business at once, that's not good. And I would love to get your comment, guys, uh, about this because, I, like I said, me personally, I never met anybody, anyone that has been successful with that strategy. And I explained earlier why people are doing this strategy, or at least what they believe that's their strategy to go, because it's still relevant today. Young entrepreneurs still using this strategy today. You know, having multiple business at the same time. Instead of just stopping this one because it's not bringing cash and doing another one or focusing on the one they feel like is going to work. No, this is what's happening today. But if you know someone or you personally have been successful in that strategy, please share your 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 how did you implement, what works, what didn't work, what did you learn from that? Because I'm curious. I'm really, really curious. I come from a time where I've seen those two different strategies where you do multiple businesses at once. And then you just do one and, and, and you focus. And my first successful business was the one I picked and I worked and I, you know, trying to figure it. Because it took me two years to be profitable on this, on this particular business I'm talking about. But if I had two or three, I would have failed on all of them, you know, probably. Because I, I wouldn't have put the same time. So think about that for a second, man. Uh, on my personal view is trying to, you know, just, just be logical. Just, you know, use logic, right? Why would you spread yourself then? Trying to find one venue, one thing you can do really well and do it. And then from there, when you reach the top, then you can build verticals on top of that. And if you disagree, please share what your opinion is. I would love to know. Um, and let me end with this, man. I, I, I like to, to, to uh, especially when you're a startup, you know, there's always a learning curve to a business you're doing. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care how connected you are. Unless you come from a rich family and you have money to burn, there's always a learning curve to any business you do. You have to go through a learning curve. What I mean is you have to go to ups and downs, learn the ecosystem, learn the, 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 the challenges and all those things. And it's more painful when you do that with multiple business than just one. Think about it. All right, guys. Peace. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Put some comment. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, well, stop watching it. Peace.